So our next subtopic is dynamic equilibrium in translation analysis as a rigid body. So dun sa previous topic natin, particle lang yung object natin dun. And then dito, kung mapapansin nyo yung word na equilibrium. Okay, so ibig sabihin yan, gagamitan natin siya ng equations or conditions of equilibrium, yung mga problem dito. And then aside from that, yung ating inertia force, yung W over G times A or MA, i-consider na natin yung kanyang point of application. Okay? So, from our previous topic, meron na tayong W over G times A. So, dito meron din. So, ang kaibal lang talaga niya ay yung merong point of application yung ating inertia force. Ito, simple illustration lang ng mga forces. So, alimbawa dito, yung body ay accelerating. So, para ma-visualize natin yung inertia force, yung MA or W over G times A, so, nilagay lang natin to So, kung imagine yung sasakyan, biglang tumakbo tapos nasa loob kayo, yung force na humila sa inyo, dun sa opposite direction ng sasakyan, yun yung tinatawag na inertia force. And then, similarly, pag nagpreno or decelerating yung body, yung humila sa inyo paharap, o, oh, yun yung inertia force din. Okay, so, ito yung may equations na involved. Actually, itong second figure dito, kahit wala na, kasi dito sa first equation, gawin nyo lang negative yung A, so, magiging positive to. So, ito na yung ating equation. And then, yung dynamic equilibrium, and then yung DLM inverse principle, So, ito yung kanyang uh, simple equations. So, ginawa lang niya equal to zero yung previous equation natin, yung summation of uh, forces along x equal to ma. So, ito naman yung ma dito sa dl inverse principle, sinama na niya dito sa summation of x. Okay? So, again, yung ating x dyan yung direction of motion or along the direction of motion. Kung nakaka-inclined yung body, naka-inclined din yung ating x-axis. So, for our first problem, so we have uh, the coefficient of kinetic friction under the sliding supports at A and B in the figure below. Ito yung figure natin. Ito yung A and B support is 0.3. So, given. So, number 1, yung coefficient of friction. Since gumagalaw to, yun ay coefficient of kinetic friction. That is 0.3. What force P will give the 200 pounds door? So, ito door siya, sliding door. A leftward acceleration of 8.05 feet per second is square. So, ang hinahanap yung force P that will give this body an acceleration of that is equal to 8.05 feet per second is square. Then, second, unknown, oh, what will be the normal pressure at A and B? So, dalawa yung additional unknowns natin, yung normal pressure. So, let us denote that as N sub A for normal pressure or normal force at A. And N sub B for the normal force at the support B. Okay? So, ito yung mga unknowns, yung tatlo. So, required in A and B and P. So, and then yung direction of motion, pakaliwa. So, leftward acceleration tayo. So, pakaliwa yung motion natin. And then, take note, before we solve this problem, so ang i-apply lang natin ay yung uh, conditions of equilibrium and of course, yung summation of x equal to 0. So, actually, ito na yung ating ma, yung w over g times a dito. So, multiply ito. Ito na yung ating ref. So, kung magsa-summation of forces along the direction of motion tayo, equal to 0. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, kailangan natin ng friction force. Okay? So, FA tsaka FB. So, yun yung kailangan natin bago masolve yung force P. Then, if we will take summation of forces vertical, so, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang unknowns. Yung NA tsaka NB naman. So, for short, wala pa tayong masusolve agad-agad gamit yung summation of forces vertical tsaka summation of forces horizontal. Then, yung ating third condition of equilibrium, yung isang natitira ay yung summation of moment. Kung gagamitin natin yon kahit saan dito sa mga point na to, wala din tayong masosolve. Okay? So, for short, gagawa tayo ng equations 
na dapat meron yung mga unknown. So, gamit yung mga conditions of equilibrium na yan. Okay, so, doon tayo magbe-base ng ating solution. So, actually, we can uh, start our solution uh, either doon sa mga conditions of equilibrium. Pero, syempre, start tayo doon sa pinakasimple muna, which is summation of forces vertical. Kasi, unang una, ang vertical forces natin ay tatlo lang. So, yung NA, NB, tsaka yung W. So, let us start our solution. So, let us take summation of forces vertical equal to zero. So, assuming upward forces positive. So, from our FBD, actually, ito na yung ating FBD. Nandiyan na yung mga forces. So, itong friction force tsaka yung normal force, nilagay ko na dyan. So, upward forces, oh, meron tayo NA, and then yung NB, and then we have the weight, which is equal to 600 pounds. So, ito na yung ating isang equation. So, this is equal to 0. So, nandyan na yung dalawang unknowns. Then, next, we can take summation of forces, horizontal. So, assuming to the right forces, positive so, meron tayo yung inertia force. So, W over G multiplied by A. Then, next, we have plus FA, then FB. So, those are our positive forces. And then, next, we have the uh, unknown force P. This is equal to 0. So, yung FA tsaka FB, actually, ang relation niyan versus dun sa ating NA, yun ay actually uh, friction force o oh, dito na lang natin ilagay so friction force is equal to normal force multiplied by the coefficient of friction okay so pwede nating palitan yung F sub A tsaka F sub B dito kasi hindi naman sila kailangan so ganun din yung ating F sub B that is simply normal force multiplied by the coefficient of friction so, let us substitute itong dalawang to dito. So, W over G times A plus NA F sub K plus NB F sub K minus P equal to 0. So, bali ito, 2 equations pero 3 unknowns. Pero kung titignan natin yung quantity na to, pwede nating i-factor out yung uh, F sub K. Okay? So, F sub K multiplied by n sub a plus n sub b okay, minus p equal to 0. So, ngayon ito, yung n sub a tsaka n sub b, pwede na natin palitan ng isang to. So, pwede natin solve yung n sub a tsaka n sub b dito. So, n sub a plus n sub b, so that is equal to 600 pounds. So, pwede natin i-revise itong ating equation or first equation. So, say this is uh, equation 1 and this one is equation 2. Okay, so we can substitute 1 to 2. So, ito magiging, so W over G times A plus F sub K multiplied by yung 600 pounds minus P equal to 0. Kung mapapansin natin, pwede na natin isolve yung P. Okay? Kasi given naman yung weight, yung acceleration, tsaka yung coefficient of friction. So, substitute na natin yung mga given. So, W is 600 pounds. Then, G is, of course, 32.2 feet per second square multiplied by A is 0 0.05 or 8.05. Then, our F sub K is 0 0.3. Then, we have 600 minus P equal to 0. So, pwede natin masolve yung force P dito. So, force P here is 330 pounds. So, we are done with the first unknown. Force P. Then next, we need to solve the normal pressures. Yung N sub H yung N sub B. So, so far, ang ginagagamit pa lang natin ay yung dalawang conditions of equilibrium yung summation of forces vertical saka yung horizontal. So, meron pa tayong isang hindi nagagamit. So, let us use summation of moment. 
equal to 0 assuming clockwise positive so and then take note ang ating next objective ay solve yung both NA tsaka yung NB so kung mag moment tayo dito at gusto nating may ma-solve either na NA tsaka NB pwede tayo mag moment sa either A or B okay? so pwede rin naman dito sa point P kaso nga lang equations yung magiging result kasi dalawa yung magiging variable natin nun. Pero kapag dito tayo nag-moment sa A, automatic eliminated na yung N sub A. Then pag dito, eliminated na yung N sub B. Okay, since meron na tayong force P, yung 330 pounds, so makakapag-solve na tayo kung dito tayo mag-moment. So let us solve for N sub B by simply taking summation of moment at point A. Okay, so let us solve n sub b so ito yung ating point a so una ano yung moment arm ng n b so meron tayong 4 feet so 4 feet din dito so meron tayong 8 8 feet na moment arm ng n sub b then for w over g times a so meron tayong 6 then for the weight we have 4 and then for force p we have 8 feet Okay, so kompleto lahat yung ating moment arm. So unahin natin yung mga clockwise. Okay, so we have force P. Okay, then yung moment arm niya. Okay, nasabi ko nina, that is 8, so clockwise. Then next, we have 600 pounds. So 600 multiplied by 4. Okay, so clockwise again, so plus. Then next we have nb so ang moment arm nito ay 8 and then yung direction ay counterclockwise so minus so n sub b multiplied by 8 then lastly yung ating w over g times a so counterclockwise yung kanyang moment so minus so w over g times a then yung kanyang moment arm ay 6 feet okay? so equal to 0 so, ito yung kanyang moment arm. So, substitute lang natin lahat. Yung force pin na nasolve natin. Yung NB, tsaka yung weight. And then yung A. So, masasolve natin yung NB. So, transpose lang natin yung N sub B times 8. Doon sa kabila. And then divide both side by 8. So, ang NB natin dito ay 517.5. Then, lastly, yung ating NB or NA uh, using equation 1. So, we can just simply substitute yung 517.5 dito sa ating equation. So, from equation 1, we can solve for n sub a. So, n sub a plus n sub b which is 517.5 equal to 600 pounds. So, 600 minus yung ating 517.5. So, we have 82.5 pounds. So, that's all for this video. See you next time.